Hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon. You know what day it is. It is Wednesday at 3 o'clock and we are here live with recipe of the day. And today we have a couple really fun things on the docket because you know what season it is now. It is holiday season, which means it is time for the first one coming up here. We just passed uh, Halloween. We're coming up here on Thanksgiving next. And since I have a Thanksgiving baby, we always have extra special time at Thanksgiving around here. Um, but today I'm going to be making two easy, easy Thanksgiving sides. We're going to be making corn pudding today and we're going to be making cornbread sausage stuffing today the quick and easy way because I know some people might be having smaller holiday gatherings this year. And so these are two quick and easy uh, ones that you can make uh, for your holiday um, uh, Thanksgiving dinner. Um, I also bought a turkey breast, just the breast that I will roast since I'm making these holiday sides. Today I thought, well shoot, I'm just going to buy a turkey breast and we're going to have a first run at Thanksgiving here to, uh, today. So in my cast iron skillet here I have started um, the sausage go, uh, going in there just to make it go a little quicker. And then I have about two cups of celery and a cup of onion, of course, grated, um, going in there with the sausage. So, get those in there. How is everyone today? It is a beautiful, crisp, sunny, nice day here at the beach. We have our best weather, I think, in October, November. Very nice. So here I'm going to get this going in here. Our celery, our onion, along with one pound of sausage is what is in the pan today. So we'll get that started. Oh my gosh, yum! And I just like it when you break the onion, um, I just think it goes so much faster and it disappears. So when you're taking a bite of your dish, you don't get a big chunk of onion. Ooh. Um, hey Rhonda, how are you? Good afternoon, how are you? How are my escrows going there? My escrow in charge lady. Um, I'm going to also start here the corn pudding. Now I have read literally a hundred corn pudding recipes and there are probably some more complicated ones that I would tackle um, for an actual holiday dinner but again this is quick and easy sides. So I picked an easy one that looked delicious so I'm starting with four ounces that's half a stick of cream cheese. I'm going to stick that in my mi mi uh, mixer and I'm going to use the mixer um, today just to make it again go quick and easy so the I'm putting in there okay the cream cheese a can of cream corn and then I have um, about a cup of uh, just frozen organic corn I pulled out of the, fr the freezer and let it thaw out um, I need a spatula to grab one and let that um, thaw out while I was getting uh, ready here so put that in here Oh my gosh, yum, it smells good already. Corn and cream cheese starting out here. So in goes the cream corn, cream cheese. Hey Instagrammers, how are you today? It is a beautiful day here at the beach, making quick and easy Thanksgiving sides today. Two of the staple sides, two of my favorite sides, the corn pudding and the um, sausage cornbread stuffing. Yum! So I've got softened cream cheese, half a stick in here, the cream corn, the regular corn, and then in here I'm going to put the onion. So about a half a cup, again, of grated onion. Grate the onion once, two recipes. <laughs> so that worked out great. That's going in. I'm going to let that get mixed up, let that cream cheese get mixed up. And then when that is done, I will add the rest of the things in there. So let's check on our sausage and our onion and celery going here. Oh my goodness, smells so yummy. Shoot, maybe I should have gotten my bigger cast iron, uh, iron pan out. Oh my gosh, yum! Now this onion and, and celery will cook down. Um, but for right this second, and you guys walk, uh, watching, I try not to make a total mess of that. So what is your favorite Thanksgiving side? What's the thing you go to first? 
that it's just not Thanksgiving without that side. Let me know. Hey, Lisa, how are you? Hey, Charlie, how are you? Looking forward to seeing you this week. We are making a couple um, easy, quick and easy Thanksgiving sides today. We are gonna, we're making corn pudding and we are making sausage cornbread stuffing, quick and easy style. So these are gonna be delicious. Just trying to break up that cream cheese. My, um, my mixer is the six quart uh, KitchenAid, the big one. So when I'm making a small recipe like this, it's a little harder in this big bowl to get it to break down. But it is gonna be yummy. Give us a stir. Oh, cranberry, yeah, do you make your own? Lisa, you probably do. Um, your own cranberry, what's your favorite recipe for cranberries? Send me your favorite holiday recipes so we can share them all. But I always make my own too. Uh, fresh cranberries, some orange zest, some orange juice. Um, I don't like my cranberry sauce very sweet, so I don't put very much sugar in. So you still have that tart um, flavor of the cranberry, yum. Oh, you're welcome, Lisa, was a winner on our drawing here on the show. And Lindy and I went delivering gifts yesterday all uh, over the place to deliver prizes. So that was really fun. Um, so glad a few of them we got, we actually caught home was really fun. Um, and then the rest of you, they're on your doorsteps. Uh, hey, Jen, how are you? Annette, how are you? Good to see you. We are making easy Thanksgiving sides today. So I've got the beginning of corn pudding in here and the beginning of um, sausage, cornbread, stuffing behind me. So I will keep going with this here. So I've got my cream cheese, uh, cream corn, corn and onion in here. And now I am going to put the milk in and the melted butter. Now because I had it, I'm using half and half because why not? So I'm gonna put that in. And the melted butter I have here is going in because yum. Of course I melted my butter a minute ago so get it in here. Oh my gosh, yum! And of course unsalted butter. I always use unsalted butter so you can control the salt and add your own. And I'm going to take my egg, I'm just going to take this one and whip it up a little bit because I need a beaten egg for my stuffing too. So. I got one started here, and I'll use it here, and then we'll beat the other one for the stuffing. So my beet egg going in. This is one of my very favorite things, the corn pudding. Yum! And stuffing, two of my faves. Hey, Jill, how are you? We are making easy Thanksgiving sides. Hey, Rachel, how are you? Looks like you guys had a fun adventure. Can't wait to hear about that. Uh, get everything in here. I get sidetracked when I'm talking. Um, I'm going to put a little bit of sugar, two teaspoons, in here. The recipe called for a tablespoon, but I put a little bit less than that in here. Um, make sure I get it all in here. Uh, and I don't see my... Sorry. I'm yeah, talking to you guys. And make sure I get it in here. The cornmeal, half a cup of cornmeal going in. And then I have about a half a cup, a little more than that, because I'm going to put, a, put a, little, a little bit on top of some cheddar cheese. And I use extra sharp, but I'm going to save a little bit of this cheese to put on top once I get it all in there, spilling it all over, over the place. Okay, give that a little stir there. Oh my gosh, this uh, onions and the sausage smell so good. Oh my goodness. These smell delicious. Now I'm really only going to cook this until uh, the sausage is done because and the celery and the onion are softened because this is going to cook in the oven again. But I do, just want to make sure my sausage is brown and cooked through and my vegetables are softened. So they are almost ready there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Now we are a Jimmy Dean hot family. It is our favorite and we love Jimmy Dean Hot. Give that one big stir there. Um, but today I actually bought the sage to go in the stuffing because what is stuffing without sage? Um, now this I'm going to get ready to make sure I've got everything in there before I put it in here. I've got my casserole dish buttered and uh, what I'm looking for here, here we go, salt and pepper. I'm like, where's the salt and pepper? 
let me add a, look, a little bit here. Salt and some pepper, and I'm using the big grind here, which if you didn't, if you don't like big grind, just use the regular kind, but I don't mind it. So I'm gonna put some big grind pepper in here. It's gonna be delish. And then we're gonna put it in our dish and it's ready for the oven and that's it. Corn pudding done, check. In like five minutes, re uh, ready to go. So we give this, stir in our salt and pepper and we're good. So let me grab my dish I'm gonna use for this. It's just our uh, eight inch square baking dish and we will get our items here out of the mixer. Gosh. I love this! I'm having a little comfort food for today as I'm deciding this, this, mor this morning what to make. And this is what I came up with. So a little comfort food is always good, right? Oh my gosh, this looks delicious. And the cheese in there. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. Yum! Corn pudding going in. Oh my gosh, this looks great. And I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top just so people know what's in there. And also just because it gets super bubbly when you bake this. So we're going in here. Now who else has their Christmas cards done and ordered and ready to go? You know where I brought that up, right? Because I do! Ordered the Christmas cards! So you guys will be ready. You guys know my Christmas list, very large. And they are going to be on their way here shortly. So there's the batter. Now to that, because we just like it and we're going to be the ones eating this, um, I am going to put a little jalapeno just on half of this. Because Rex is not a super fan, but we are. So I'm going to put a little jalapeno on here. Yum! And then I'm going to sprinkle a little cheese on top. And then it'll get all nice and bubbly. And there we go. Corn pudding ready for the oven. Ready for Thanksgiving. Yum! Look at that. Yes! So like I said, I bought a turkey breast that we are going to be, I'm going to roast it for dinner for tonight. Just the breast. So if you have a smaller gathering this year and you don't want to do the whole bird, which I don't really understand why you wouldn't. I mean, everybody loves turkey. We love it. And I have found so many yummy after Thanksgiving turkey uh, recipes to make with your leftover turkey that I highly encourage you to do the whole bird and then you can make a few more meals from your bird if you don't have a lot of people this year. Oh my gosh, this looks delish. Okay, so I'm gonna take my bowl here and get my next dish going. So in here is just the onion and the celery and the sausage. One pound of Jimmy Dean, actually sage is what I used today. And just brown it up through the onion and the celery in. And then, I think it's heavy. <laughs> Get a hold of it with my left hand here. Okay, so that is in there. And then I put my cornbread, I uh, cut it up. Of course, I skipped a step. I would always make my own. But I was trying to make this quick and easy, so I went and bought a cornbread, cut it up, and I toasted it. So it is ready. And so in here, I'm going to put my toasted cornbread. I cut it into kind of big chunks because I knew it would break down more as a ouch as I stirred it. But these are basically cornbread croutons I'm putting in here. Oh my gosh. And they smell so good. Yum! So that is in there. And then to our mixture here, I am going to add some poultry seasoning, one teaspoon. And you know, I got this recipe off of Jimmy Dean because it was the most popular Jimmy Dean recipe. So I'm like, well, and I read a bunch of the reviews and everybody loved it. So I'm like, well, let's try that one. What the heck? So in here, I'm putting how much of this? One teaspoon of poultry seasoning. So, get one teaspoon out of here and put our poultry seasoning in there. Oh my gosh, it smells so good! Sage and yumminess. And again, I need one more beaten egg. So I used my egg for the other dish here. So I will beat in another one really quick. I'm going to crack your egg on a flat surface, then you don't get the 
eggshells in your dish when you crack it on the side of the dish. Just a little, a little tip. Just give this a quick stir here. think so, Lisa. I'm not sure I would freeze it because, I mean, you probably could though. I don't see why you couldn't make it in a foil pan um, and then free freeze it. But you definitely, I think, you could make it the day before and then get ready to cook it. And frankly, you could probably cook it. Because another tip I have for you is make things, make your plan for Thanksgiving, especially if you only have one oven and your bird is in it. You need to have some other ways to make your things. So you think about um, stove top and also crock pot because both of these recipes could be done in a, in a crock pot and then it's not in your oven at all. And so then you have extra room for other things. So in goes one beaten egg and I'm going to put in one cup of stock, chicken stock. Of course measured very carefully and you always want to make sure you have enough liquid in your stuffing because you want it to be um, nice and moist when it's done. So I usually just eyeball my liquid. So I will get this stirred up and then see. And if you make it ahead of time, the stuffing, and you put it in the fridge overnight, you definitely want to check your moistness in the morning when you put it in the oven. And if it needs a little more stock, just put a little more stock in there to make sure your stuffing comes out moist. But then again, what's gravy for? <laughs> There's always gravy to help you out with your moisture, <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, this smells delish. Now because my favorite part of my mom's um, stuffing was the raisins, I am putting in just a few, right, like a quarter of, of a cup, maybe a third of a cup of raisins, because I love them in my stuffing. And since I'm making it, I can make it however I want. <laughs> and I think that's it here. I'm going to put a little... Just check my, um, make sure I got it all in there. I'm gonna put a little more. I did this recipe called for parsley, and I didn't put parsley because I, Rex, he doesn't like it, so I left it out. And that's it. So I'm gonna put a little pepper in here, and then I'm gonna put it in the pan, and it is ready for the oven. And we are done with two quick, easy Thanksgiving sides, the easy way, no problem. Now, if you want to make this gluten-free, it'd be pretty easy because you just make your own cornbread uh, gluten-free and then cut it up and toast it, and you'd be ready to go. Okay, here's my dish for the stuffing. So I'm going to put it in here. Oh, my goodness. Yum! Oh, my gosh, you guys, it smells so good. It is the holidays. I don't know why we only eat these things on the holidays when they're everybody's favorite yumminess. But oh my goodness, look at this. Yum! This look good. Who's coming over for dinner? <laughs> Guess what we're having? <laughs> we're having trial run on the Thanksgiving. Oh my gosh, yum! So when you're making your plan, like I said, you can um, plan to make things, some things on the, on the cooktop, some things in the oven, some things in the crock pot and then you don't, you're don't, you not trying to juggle everything at once. So I thought that was a good tip. Hey Seal, how are you? Um, I'm gonna add a few pecans on half of this because again, Gary, uh, Gary and I like the nuts. Rex, not so much. But again, your, fa your family, your choice. <laughs> so put a few nuts in there and that's it. Ready to roll on the cornbread sausage stuffing quick and easy way. And the corn pudding, again, quick and easy way to go with my turkey breast I bought. I had to ask the butcher, but he had one, so um, I am ready to go to roast that. So yumminess and easy, huh? It doesn't have to be hard, um, especially if you plan ahead. So let's see what our birthday shout-outs are for today. Let's see what I've got here. Oh, yes, I know. The corn one looks good, huh? We have two birthday shout-outs today but before that it is Veterans Day so I want to say happy Veterans Day and thank you for your service to all our servicemen and women you know freedom isn't free and we appreciate all the sacrifice that has gone before for this country and today is the day to honor that um, so we hope you uh, will do something nice for your name for your neighbor for your veteran neighbor I've seen some really cool things people have decorated mailboxes and things for the veterans in their neighborhood 
so when you see one, uh, you know, buy them a coffee, buy their lunch, and thank you for your ser for your service. And then our birthdays today on Veterans Day, um, I have Cheryl Hare, my friend and client. Happy birthday to you, Cheryl. I hope you guys are doing well. I haven't seen you in forever. And then tomorrow's birthday is Natalie Bryant, lifelong friend since I was a little girl. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Forgot my hat here. Would you guys remind me to put on my birthday shout out hat? Doo -doo -doo -doo. So back again, Cheryl Hare today and Natalie Bryant tomorrow. Happy birthday to you guys. Um, and then my giveaway today in honor of coming into our holiday baking season, which I'm so excited about. I have these, look how cute these are. These are like mitten spatulas, a big one and a small one. Because since I started using a small spatula, it's life cha uh, changing. Fits in the cans, fits in small places, and it's the best. So I thought these were so cute. So kicking off holiday baking today. So if you have liked or commented on these videos um, on YouTube, on Facebook, then you are in the fish. And then you might get a visit from us when we are delivering prizes, which is so fun. If you are, lo if you are local, we have fun delivering the prizes to you guys. So here we go. Do, do, do. Maybe come over and we'll bake some cookies with your spatula. Laura Knox, winner, winner. Laura Knox, you're ready to kick off the baking season. What's your favorite cookie? Let's make some. Oh my gosh, I found another recipe I've never made before for the holidays. And we'll see if I can get it fit, fit it into the show schedule. And Heather Freeze. <laughs> Heather, you win the... Uh, the uh, spatulas here. How cool is that? So awesome. So thank you guys for watching and please go to our YouTube channel Ventura Real Estate and subscribe because uh, we love to have you guys there. We're almost to a thousand subscribers so we're trying to get there so please subscribe um, and for all your real estate needs visit us at GaryAndLisa.com. Market is crazy. People have figured out how awesome Ventura County is and they really want to move, move here. So if you know anybody that's thinking about selling their house call us first. Um, we have our own stack of ready, willing, and able buyers, and it is a great time to be a seller. So give us a call. Um, we love to talk about real estate, and we love when you guys visit us here live on Wednesdays and Saturdays at 3 o'clock. And we are just heading into holiday yumminess here, and we appreciate you guys being here. So thanks for watching. We will see you again next time. And remember, there's only two things that you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good attitude and always do your best. And give your neighbor, veteran, father, brother, sister, mother, give them a hug and a shout out and a thank you um, for all of their service. So we will see you soon. Thanks for watching.